crazy night in baseball. The Astros actually did some scoring, lots of scoring, and Carlos Marmol made it through an inning without giving up a run. I can only pray we return to normalcy today. This is Mayo's Triple Play for April 10th. So the Astros finally built up the courage to fight back. Good for them. But Brandon Maurer getting knocked out in the first inning last night presents a better value for us. How so? Well, Maurer was taken by almost a third of teams yesterday, and his stinker has people hesitant to pick on Houston again. Won't deter me. Blake Bevin's the third cheapest hurler available. He's a great value, and Houston's primed to return to its offensive hibernation. Carlos Pena is the only Astro to ever face Bevin, and he's batting a measly 111. Coming over from the AL Central, Denard Span seeing a lot of pitchers for the first time in Washington. Not today, though. Span has quite the history with Gavin Floyd. He's a 500 career hitter opposite the Pale Hose righty, and that's over 26 at bats. Plus, the Nerd Dogs hit in 6 of 7 games this season, and is always an overlooked source of speed. Comes with a fantastic price tag, too. Span's currently cheaper than Logan Schaefer and Roger Funky Cold Bernardina. Get him in! Finally, let's head to Wrigley for a juicy batter versus pitcher matchup. One where the batter always seems to prevail. Alfonso Soriano has Freddy Krueger Kyle Loesch over the years, haunting his dreams. And this is no tiny sample size. Soriano's 20 for 53 lifetime off Loesch. That's a 377 mark, smacking four doubles, four dingers, knocking in 12. That equals out to a 679 career slugging and 1079 OPS. That's it for Wednesday. For more daily coverage, check out the King's Daily Court from Scott Engel. He'll be giving you the best plays from the early and late games, providing updates from the ballpark. Find it on Roto Experts Daily tab, rotoexperts.com slash daily. I'm Pat Mayo. See you tomorrow.